Hey everyone, I'm going to be talking a little bit about Kiko. Um, the first few signs that we noticed of discomfort and how it came to be, um, we thought it was arthritis and it turned out it was cancer. Um, I'm going to be showing some videos to give you guys an example of sort of what we were noticing. I will also be sharing a little bit about my experience, how it was after Kiko got his leg amputated. I hope this will help uh, some of you. Uh, here's an example. You can tell he's having trouble putting weight on that one paw. Um, we saw a lot of that um, random. It was so random. He would just be walking, running, and suddenly he wouldn't just be uncomfortable we would also have moments like this where everything looked fine and then suddenly this <laughs> it was obvious that he was in pain and in a lot of discomfort so we took action we took him to the vet again after that first visit. Um, we got x-rays and three days later got a call saying it, it was cancer. After that, um, he had a biopsy done to confirm the x-rays, but they thought it was cancer and we got a confirmation that it was we just didn't know what type of cancer he had at that moment. Um, the next question asked was, did we want it to go m or move forward with an amputation? It wasn't an easy decision to make. Um, there was a lot of thinking if that was the right choice to go ahead and do an amputation. But really, there was not much to think about because he was in pain, he was uncomfortable, he couldn't play with Watson. It was, it hurt to just walk. Um, he couldn't enjoy our mor morning walks either. So I decided to say yes and move forward with an amputation, which was done a week later seeing your dog for the first time with only three legs is going to break your heart it's gonna be hard and seeing him be sad depressed is gonna be worse you think that it's always going to be like that the things are not gonna change and he's probably not going to adapt to this new thing but he will i know it's hard to believe i didn't believe it myself when people would tell me that i thought it was just they were saying it to comfort me but it will get better i'm not gonna lie it's going to be really hard and it's for, well for me it i feel this awful pain in my chest constantly the first two weeks were the hardest he would wake up at night and cry and i didn't know what to do um but it was normal i mean it was a major surgery that he had so it was obvious that he was in pain and a little bit of pain after the surgery and he was there was this new thing like he didn't have one of his front paws or legs so um, I can't imagine what was going through his head um, the one thing that helped me a lot was to talk to other people that were going through the same thing or that already went through that and talking to them hearing their story helped me a lot through this process especially the first two weeks which are the hardest seeing kiko with his big scar for the first time was really hard and it broke my heart thing is 
it's going to be harder for you than it would be for your pup because they adapt so quickly oh good boy good boy <laughs> that was Kiko like three days after his um, surgery it's really amazing how they just get up and do their own thing and you start realizing it w the choice you made was the right one and for Kiko it helped that he had his brother Watson there helping him and it helps to have a positive attitude we started to not be so sad we took Kiko to PetSmart one day and we started treating him like a normal dog he's not sick he's a normal puppy and he can do so many things by himself he can do it and we took him to PetSmart to get a, a toy um, so he can pick a toy we gave him his moments by himself it was just us with him we left watson at home we wanted him to have his his special moments of just him being spoiled and having that positive attitude um helped kiko a lot a lot a lot Some weeks later, it was time to remove all the stitches. So we took Kiko to the vet to get those removed. And after that, it was time to take the sweet boy to enjoy what he loves to do the most, swimming. Seeing your good boy or good girl happy again and just being a normal dog and enjoying life as before anything happened, it will make you realize that you made the right decision because nothing will compare to seeing, seeing him or her smile again.